kind of just striking observation about the field right now is, I guess, close to all, maybe not quite all, of the Frontier model developers have pursued what, from the outside, appears to be like a very similar trajectory over the last year. And we basically see now a whole new class of reasoning models, which follow a similar paradigm where they sort of have a chain of thought, you know, where they're thinking for a while, and then they give you a final answer. That convergence is something that I would like to understand better. And I don't know if it is just like simultaneous invention because, you know, the conditions were just so overdetermined to make that the next logical step. Or, you know, the other theory that you hear is that people are meeting up at these infamous San Francisco parties and, you know, sharing what they're working on over drinks or whatever. So how would you describe your understanding of why everybody is kind of developing seemingly very similar ideas in parallel right now? Yeah, I think it's just a phenomenon that has existed even before the invention of SF tech parties. People are always looking for where there's avenues of progress. And I think even very small bits of information that like we can see a model is improving in a certain way, people very quickly notice that now, especially now we have an unprecedented number of smart people working in AI, an unprecedented amount of compute that allows us to react quickly. And we're seeing that just follow through to an unprecedented level of like speed and velocity when there is a new paradigm, let's say test time compute in this case, and there's a bunch of performance and capability to explore in this domain, then people will flood into it very fast. Even if I think of like how this has kind of unfolded within Google, within Gemini, we assembled the reasoning groups to work on the specific topic of thinking and test time compute in September, October time. And within like a month or so of just focusing around this space, we were finding kind of what we felt like were modeling breakthroughs that were very exciting. That led us to shipping a first model in December, kind of an experimental model based on flash with thinking. And if I think about like and reflect about how that team's progress went, there was just a very natural process of people exploring in this place and really getting involved and more and more people thinking about it and running experiments and just like progress happened very, very fast. And I would imagine that is just a common phenomenon now within these like very talented research groups. And, and that's why you get to see suddenly a bunch of reasoning models within kind of a short time span of each other. There's just like a very natural phenomenon of curiosity and exploration and talent right now. So people are always super kind of motivated to find like the next big breakthrough and explore it as fast as possible. 